Hi Aries, welcome to your monthly readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram pages. So, Aries, I do feel like this month of February can actually be uplifting for some of you. Some Aries that have been carrying certain uh, weight uh, in their lives upon something they were in a certain way as well holding on to. I feel like you're giving up on something that you are acknowledging is just not worth your time, your energy, or the drama that it brings, and you're leaving behind things that are, you know, consuming you emotionally in negative ways. Others of you are just distancing yourself from negative forces, so you are able to disconnect more easily during the month of um, February. You're able to disconnect more easily from you know, forces that are trying to pull you back in into the same things that are uh, tiring or just negative to you. Others of you are able, as I said, to create this bubble, to create this temporary but interesting force here where for now I'm just going to be in my boat and I'm drifting in the boat. I don't know where the boat is going. I don't know what's going to happen and I'm okay with that. So some of you are actually in this very positive mindfulness right about being in the moment and only on the moment and not caring about much more than that so i feel like some of you of course that those energies or this energies come from threads right usually of experiences of the opposite nature because you do have the four of Pon uh, the four of pentacles i'm sorry in your conscious pos position telling me that though you do have some, you know, um, issue about control or about change. It's difficult or um, there's something in your life that is indeed difficult to let go of, to leave behind, to not have that controlling, forceful energy on. But the good thing w with the other energies that I'm being shown here is that maybe you are... Um, realizing that that behavior and that you know energy is also not giving you you know anything in return so you are gradually i feel like aries are during the month of february gradually backing off from something and seeing the result of it it's like instead of controlling it to smothering the life out of it you are standing back and putting it to the test if it comes back or not if it's something that will run or stay uh so this could be about relationships because you do have the lovers here uh but it could also be about money possessions family work anything that you are having a hard time letting go of um or that you feel like it's yours so you're not going to of course it's your right it's your entitlement it's just yours and you're not going to um give up on it because it's yours but at the same time it's something that that degree of attachment has been creating or is creating suffering so some of you are just putting to the test situations currently during it's like february is a month of you know te a trial testing things and see how it goes so then you know what to do in march and uh forward and i feel like there's real um opportunities as though for some of you to just you know it's like it, suddenly something that in the beginning maybe you're still controlling and holding on to suddenly as the month progresses there may be a change of heart or a change of thinking that allows you to completely completely throw that away especially if it's something indeed that it's dead that it's non um you know conducive to any type of growth or any type of positive energy to you just 
I see that some of you are actually going to kick out something from your life that you will acknowledge is just not for you or not working or not what you want. So there's also here for others that are not just about the trial, others actually can be um, having unexpected and surprising behaviors to others and themselves about what they are going to do or um, you know, decide to do that is so different from what they were, you know, the behavior some of you were displaying or the plans that you had. Some of you could also have dramatic changes of plans during this time. You can st suddenly decide with this, <laughs> with the Fool and the Six of Swords, who knows what you're going to do. That's a little bit that type of energy. You are unpredictable during the month of um, February. So, you know, it's not a month where there's this defined line about what's the possibility even of um, what's going to happen. So even myself, I cannot tell you exactly what it is. I'm just saying that there's something here that has this very unpredictable nature. And this like flipping the the coin and turning tables energy where there's this re just this reversal of what's you know initially expected um there's things that have been in a way that are not going to be anymore and i feel like the majority of you is based on your decision on you having enough of something i feel like some areas are reaching here a limit you know in their mind and that's why the fool is here in the six of swords is that i'm not going to put up anymore with something that it's um just taking the life out of me and my ability to enjoy life and to take risks on life and to go on adventures and have amazing experiences and be detached i feel like some of you have this issue about attachment versus detachment and it's a very hard thing to detach indeed and what I mean, uh, what I'm feeling is that you have this opportunity in um, February to suddenly feel free from something that you never fe would feel or believe that you would be free from so easily or so soon or so un unexpectedly. It's like poof, something happens and you are free. This could be, as I said, about an attachment to. Uh, feelings a relationship a person or money or you know something in your life your own self behaviors that are just not good for you um, and suddenly change them so there's a very sudden quick energy electric force about Aries which we have Uranus transiting still um, your sign so it may be a heavy influence about Uranus in your uh, in the sign of Aries, especially for Aries born in the last um, the last two weeks of the sign, there can be significant Uranian traits. And because we are in Aquarius season, which is the um, ruler, Uranus, it's the ruler of Aquarius, and it's in the sign of Aries. So there, <coughs> I'm sorry, there's something here about. The Uranian energy and Uranian energy is about unexpected things. It's about sudden events, sudden changes. It's about liberation. It's about freedom. It's about truth. It's about progress and all all things that are new and unconventional and different. And Aquarius, Aquarian, Uranian energy is also about uh, detachment. You know, it's about freedom. So of course that the detachment capacity that this energy needs and brings to the table is quite a lot so you can distance yourself and see clearly okay this is good for me or this is not good for me do i want this or do i don't want this and act upon that and there's something in your life that needs this uranium change or you're just being called to be a part of something because the fool can always bring an adventure maybe there's an adventure that aries are about to embark on most likely more into March, so it's a progress energy, a progressing energy towards the end of the month. But there can be an adventure that suddenly um, 
you know, manifests itself during this time and you can be called to participate on something um, that it's new age or just different, you know, from things that you have been doing. It could be that suddenly you decide to leave the job, especially if you're working on a job that is strict and conventional and traditional and uptight. You can suddenly decide to leave that job. You know, or if you are in a very uh, toxic relationship or possessive relationship, you can suddenly let go of it. There's just a big sense here of choices with the lovers in your soul. You know, there's this big urge to encounter most likely love. This big pull towards love and relating and relatedness, right? Connecting, a desire to connect. Um, and maybe you are being called to make that dramatic change on your behavior behavioral patterns that are not you know really in alignment with who you are who you are truly so that you can find you know your tribe you can find your way you can find your love you can find you know that you have more options than the ones you are envisioning or, or that you have been envisioning with the lovers and the fool, it can be that unexpectedly you meet someone that has that Uranian energy. So a relationship that may have a very different element to it. You know, it may be um, a very progressive, different, out of the convention standard of relationships, you know, the conventional aspect of a, a commitment. It could be that there is a sudden relationship um, that arises or there are sudden changes with a current relationship in your life that are going to um, be mind and eye opening there's something about you know when um, you know that state when you feel like something is just you know taking over you and opening up making everything clear like opening up your third eye and suddenly you see beyond you know your um five senses there's like a moment for some areas where you can have amazing epiphanies amazing visions experiences with meditation with any type of stimulation here to expand your consciousness so some of you are really into mindfulness and practicing kind of ways to open up here your mind and expand it or connect to the higher state of your mind can be so useful especially for areas that really have been you know um l you know have been living some type of th the lifestyle you have been living has been one that it's in a way not you you know it's not you it's not there's something that some of you are living let's say circumstance or just there's just a type of energy about your lifestyle that it's not really matching this and because of it you can be creating as well that sense of you not living up or not enjoying your life or not being able to be free where you want to where you want to feel free because you are living or being a part of something that it's not matching you. So some of you may, may make a decision to leave something uh, that you acknowledge is just doesn't make sense with who you are or who you are becoming or what are your those ideals and those visions that you have for the future. There are something, some of you are also battling, you know, the old versus the new and it may be a process to with the six of swords here to kind of the more you you move away from whatever this is it clearer it will be in your mind what you should be doing and where you want to go but especially i feel like aries that are able during february to breathe in and breathe out and just being there enjoying the moment to the fullest this oh, those are aries that are going to have moments where you can um completely change something in your life and actually quickly have the universe bring things to your life that are really about you and your future 
So I hope you have a great month of February. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting to my channel. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see each other soon.